Okay, let's have a look here. Um, what is the heart rate after four minutes? So you'll just type in two power four cubed minus 28.5 times four squared plus 105 times four plus 70. That's 162 beats per minute. Two times four cubed minus 28.5 times four squared plus 105 times four plus 70. What's the derivative? Well, that's going to be six X squared and then minus 57 X squared, oh, X Stephen, plus 105. Sorry, I'm very tired and I'm re-recording this because I made a mistake in the original video, tiny little, stupid little mistake. Um, six X squared minus 57 X plus 105 and calculate it at two. So that's 15 beats per minute per minute. Meaning after two minutes of working out her beats per minute rate is accelerating upwards at 15 beats per minute per minute. It's a bit like an acceleration. Okay. Uh, right. So make the derivative equal to zero, six X squared minus 57 X plus 105 equals zero. That's the first derivative. And then the second derivative is 12 X minus 57. Now what caught me out the first time I did this in my rush to get these done is somebody pointed out, I think it was Finton, posted a comment saying that I didn't notice that this point is the minimum. So it's, it's a global minimum. Uh, the answer I gave was only a local minimum. I gave this one, which is wrong. So the minimum is when X is zero. And when X is zero, uh, you can see the minimum is 70. So that's the least value. If you solve this quadratic, using the minus b formula, you get two values. You get seven, which is what I thought it was, and then five over two, 2.5. And you notice that the second derivative of 2.5 is negative, isn't it? Yeah, so that makes it the maximum one. So 2.5 is definitely the maximum. So if we sub 2.5 back into the original, 2 times 2.5 cubed minus 28.5 times 2.5 squared plus 105 times times 2.5 plus 70. 2 times 2.5 cubed minus 28.5 times 2.5 squared plus 105 times 2.5 plus 70. That is... 185.625, and these are beats per minute, of course. Oh, this didn't erase. Um, so to find out how long after the start of session's heart rate, or is Hannah's heart rate decreasing most quickly, that is, when is the derivative at its extreme value? That is, when is the second derivative zero? So I solved this and got 4.75 minutes, so 4 minutes and 45 seconds. Um, then to the next part here, Bruno's heart rate is 15 more. But if you add 15 more on and differentiate it, there's no difference. And then here, Karen's is 10% less. So that's just going to be 0 0.9. So that's those two there. And finally, okay, for some reason that didn't erase, but that did erase. Finally, I have to put in 0 0.8x into the formula here. So it's going to be a times 0 0.8. Oh, sorry, what am I doing? I'm so tired and hungry. I want my dinner. Okay. Uh, 2 times 0 0.8x cubed minus 28.5 times 0 0.8x squared. 
plus 105 times 0 0.8x plus 70. Okay. One point oh two four x cubed minus eighteen point two four x squared plus eighty four x plus seventy. Okay, hopefully I've fixed everything that was wrong with this question. Well, there was only one thing wrong the first time I did it. Um, it was this blooming graph caught me out. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. All right, that's attempt two of question seven.